Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL training session with Learn at No Star. In today's session, we're going to write a SQL query that would allow us to capitalize the first alphabet of a word. For example, let's say that we're working with name columns and we have some data that is all in lowercase. Now, ideally for a name, the first alphabet should be in the capitals and the remaining can be in lowercase. So that is what we are trying to achieve here. Now, this is not as complicated as it sounds. This is one of the queries that is sometimes asked in SQL interviews. So we'll see how we can write this query using simple string functions that SQL Server provides. So let's get started. So we are going to be working with a simple employee table and I have just selected a name column that is the first name. Now you can take a look at the data over here and we can see that all the data we have got over here is in lower case. So to convert it into a proper format which is to capitalize the first alphabet and leave the other alphabets as it is, we would need to write a SQL query. Now the SQL query is simple, it uses simple functions. Many of you would already be aware that if if you want to convert your case into the upper case then there's a function called upper if you want to convert it into lower then there's a string function called lower so these are the functions that we would be using the only challenge that we can see over here is that we first need to extract the first alphabet from this string and then we need to combine it back with the remaining alphabets in the same string so let's get started so let's write a select statement and let's start with extracting the first alphabet. Now extracting the first alphabet is simple again. We can use the function which is called left. Left allows us to extract the substring starting from the leftmost position of the string. So if I use left and if I just select the prompted function and give a bracket it would tell me what are the arguments that are expected of this function so the first one is obviously your expression so we want to perform this function on the first name column and after that you have to define how many characters from the left do you want to extract from the string now in our case we only want to capitalize the first alphabet so one is the number that we should be giving because we just want to extract the first alphabet all right and our table is from dbo.amp. So just to see how it works, let's just execute this query. And what we would get over here is the first alphabet. Now the second step is to capitalize this first alphabet. So again, use a simple string function that SQL Server and even other Oracle and DB2 databases provide, which is upper. This would convert this first alphabet into uppercase. So if we now execute this query, we would get the first alphabet in the uppercase as we desire. Now the next step is to combine this first alphabet that we have extracted from with the remaining string. All right, so now to get the remaining part of the string, we already know that we have the first alphabet with us. So this means that we want to extract the substring starting from the second position. So again, we are going to use the simple substring function. If we select the substring function and if we start writing our arguments, the first argument that you have to give over here is again the string on which you want to perform your function. So the first argument is first name, that is a column on which we are trying to perform the substring function. Then you have to mention the starting position, which is going to be the second position. And then you have to specify the ending position. The ending position is going to be the length of the string. So the string in our case is first name. So what would be the length of uh, the whole word? That would be the ending position. So let's say the name is, okay, let's go back to this query. So if I execute this one, the first name is Alice. Now what is the length of Alice? which means how many alphabets are there or how many uh, characters are there in the string. There are five characters. So five is the length and fifth is the last position of the alphabet or the character in the string. So the length function would return the last character, the position of the last character of the string. And that is what we want. And then we can just close our brackets. 
the plus function is a concatenation operator for strings so now we have extracted the first alphabet converted it into the upper case and then we have extracted the remaining string which is all the characters other than the first alphabet and then we have used a concatenation operator which is plus to combine the two strings into a single final string so i'm just selecting the original column again and this thing we can say as name and if we now execute this query we would get the correct results with the first alphabet capitalized and the remaining alphabets as it is in lower case so this is simple enough it makes use of simple string functions upper left substring length uh, which are simple functions which have uh, simple implementations so this can be achieved easily using this query now a more challenging part for this query might be when you don't have just a single word but you have multiple words in the string and you want the first alphabet of every word in that string to be capital now that's for the second part of this video we'll be posting a video soon answering that query in which you would be able to capitalize the first alphabet of every word in your string for now this is a simple way to achieve it for a single word strings by using these simple string functions so i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment share the video and please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot for watching stay safe and stay healthy bye